What I want to do next is I want to put in the giraffe's neck. Now there's a slight problem here because the neck is made up of two lines, not made up of a shape. So I'm going to use a curved line. So that'll start off as a straight line. Hold the tool down, gives me the arc tool, a curved line. And I want to start from around about there and draw a curved line down to about there. That looks okay. And one from around about the same position on the other side. And that looks okay. If your curves don't look steep enough, one of the other things you can do is start the curve higher up. Because that neck looks a little bit straight, actually. So one thing you can do as well is actually start your curves higher up. So I'm going to start in the middle of that eye. And I think if I start there and there, that gives me better, that gives me a better curved shape. Okay. So sometimes starting curves higher up and going lower down gives me a good shape. And I quite like that shape myself. The problem I've got here is that this line, well, doesn't sort of have a natural shape to fill. And if I try and fill it, in yellow it fills on the outside of the line sort of acting like a little bowl and I really wanted to fill this space inside here so that's no good to me same thing with this one if I click on this line and try and fill it in yellow it fills the outside of the line which isn't what I want so how am I going to sort that out well the easiest way to do it is to use what's called a shape builder tool the shape builder tool takes shapes and lines and allows you to join them together into one single shape. So the first thing to do is to just select everything. So I've got every single thing selected. And the shape builder tool is the one here. When you hover over it, it comes up with shape builder tool. And I click on that and the shape builder starts looking for shapes. Any shapes it finds, it fills in in this hatched line. Now if I were to join the neck and the body together into one single shape, all I have to do is draw a line between the two of them. That it's now gone into that sort of dotty pattern. And if I let go now, it'll join the neck and the body together. Okay, like that. And of course what it's done here is it's taken the colour out and I put the colour back in by doing that. If I move the head okay, out the way, so grab hold of the head and smooth that out the way, Oops, move the head out the way, you can see it's just joined up to where it met the next set of lines. Okay? So it's drawn a line around here, but it's left these two pieces in place. So I can put that back. So these two pieces of line here have now sort of kind of been chopped off. And that means I can select it and press on delete and select on that one and press on delete. So it joins, if, when it, the shape builder does is it looks at the shape and it joins it up to the next line it finds. And then, so it's come along here, up to here, along there and through. And the shape builder is quite a good way of building shape patterns. I can do the same thing on the horns up here. So I can zoom in with control and plus. I get to where I want to be which is not quite that high up okay I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to use the curve tool to draw one line down there and I'm going to transform and reflect it and make a copy and then move that one to about there and then if I select those shapes, and I want to use the Shape Builder tool to join those together. So Shape Builder tool. Okay, and know what it does? It takes all of the colour out. Okay, so I've also got a problem here because actually it's not done what I want. It's actually joined this bit up here as well. So it's taken the colour out and it's joined the base of the horn onto the top of the head but it's then joined the ball in as well and that if I look across here I'll just zoom across here that's not what I wanted so I need to go back 
and if it's not done what I want it to do which it hasn't I can go edit and undo and it'll go back so if I click on the shape builder tool again it's this bit and this bit are what I want to join together okay and then these two lines here I want to delete Beg your pardon. just that line I want to delete and just that line I want to delete and then this shape I want to put back into yellow I'm going to delete him okay. looking to do it I need to delete that one because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the shape across okay so I can use shift click to select and see whether that's going to be okay go on to edit and transform and reflect and it's not okay see here that that a reflection of that's now got a hole in the line there so I'm going to cancel so sometimes you can just copy shapes across but this time I'm gonna to have to draw another couple of lines there and do exactly the same thing again so get my curve tool put that one down to there that one down to about there that's not very nice actually I'm going to edit that's not really sort of curved enough for me that looks a bit better I'm now going to highlight this stuff so I can select it shape builder tool and make sure to just pick the two bits I want to join with which is just this bit and that bit I then want to just select this line here and delete it and this line here and delete it and then select this lot and put it back to yellow and that if I zoom back out using control minus should give me the neck and a couple of horns on the top of the head